Nakuru All Stars Football Club is in the heart of Nakuru town and features in the second tier league in Kenya after it was relegated from the top flight. The team has won two Kenya Premier League titles in its history and forced us on being one of the best clubs in the country despite playing in the National League for the past two decades. Former Kenya international Simon Mulama is in charge of the team assisted by chairman Pierre Wendelbo from Denmark. The club receives a lot of attention from Denmark investors who purchased the club that was formerly known as AC Nakuru before merging it with the rest of the Nakuru All-Stars club. The team is currently fifth in the National League standings. The Nakuru All-Stars is the oldest team in the country. It is formed in 1961. It won the first ever league title in Kenya in 1963 and then they also won it again in 1969 but it was disbanded in 1970. So the reformation of, uh, of, of Nakuru All-Stars as it is right now started in uh, September 2010 with the introduction of uh, an under-15 team. In uh, July 2011 uh, we purchased a team called AC Nakuru that was playing in the, in the then Nationwide League and, re and renamed it Nakuru All-Stars and then created the structures from uh, children aged 7 all the way to the senior team. So the Nakuru All-Stars comprises of about uh, 7 teams all the way from the A team to the F team uh, and, and uh, which are graduated in terms of the A, B, C, D, E, F. So in total we have about 180 players playing under the Nakuru All-Stars brand. But uh, we believe we can uh, finish as high uh, up the table as we can. Definitely we are targeting to get uh, the total of points in our four remaining matches against uh, Shabana, Rush, uh, uh, Team Sis and uh, AP. We, we think uh, if we can get the 12 points, we can finish at 84 points. Definitely, we have a very strong chance to finish number two at the table. We have a very strong season. We have a very strong season. Then, we have a very strong season. Then, we have a very strong season. We have a very strong season. We have a first leg. We have a very strong Then, we have a new signings. We have a premier. Titus Mlama na ba, na wengine kuna wachezaji tuna team B hii na Coral Stars ndio walikuja wakapandishwa saa kwa saa hiyo ndio wanacheza na veteran players wengine walikuwa mbaki of the five directors who own the Nakuru All Stars four are Danish so in terms of assistance from Denmark I can't really say assistance from Denmark. I can say the, the Danish investors put in their money into the team, but it's not. Uh, it's 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 they own the team uh, uh, with me also. So it's not as if we, we there's a, there's an NGO there or there's or, or there's a group of of people who donate money to support the Ulsters. No, it's only that the the owners, four of the five owners of the Ulsters are Danish in nationality. That's the reason why there's a Danish connection. The club was formerly known as St. Joseph before it changed its name in 2008 where it was referred to as AC Nakuru. Currently, Nakuru All-Stars Football Club plays in the National League. Tulitereza tu kidogo michi. Michi moja hapa hivi, hapa hivi nyumbani kucheza na Finlis. Yo ndo iliaribu matumaini yetu yote. Jutungishinde yu tungekwa 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 The overarching goals of Nakuru also has to become a professional club, a club that nurtures, that identifies and nurtures talents and then progresses them through the ranks to play for the first team, which is a professional team. And then from there, the very good players, we can be able to sell them to Europe because that is one way that we expect that the Nakuru All-Stars makes money. It's part of our business model. So although we were not able to achieve promotion this year, it is still a major, major um, ambition of ours. Sisi upenda kusaikiana. Kama labda tumeshindua game, hiyo ndio time ya ku motivate each other. Na juu tunajua kuna mechi next. Hapo tukiwa na moral. Hapo next pia mazoezi takuwa ngumu nini. Sa lazima motivate yao. Pia kaa tumeshinda. Tume kuna hiyo joy kwa team. 
tumotivitiana bado next pia tunaweza legend jo kadenge coach sami nyongesa and titus mulama have been products of nakuru all stars club the club's technical bench has a formidable scouting department that helps in the nurturing of unexploited talents such as Sebastian Michera, who at one time received a call up to Harambe Stars. We have a very, very strong coaching panel here and uh, I'm lucky I get along with everybody at the coaching department and uh, we, we, are, we are all uh, young guys who are ready to run so we, we just work a brother's keeping role and uh, we discuss the sessions when we come to implement it here. We already know what we want uh, to get into the players' head. That's why it's also easy for us to, to, to work with the players. I'm going to play ball, I'm going to play a toy, so I'm going to play a ball. I'm going to play a ball, 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 our football club follows the European model of ownership and of running a club, so we benchmark ourselves with those clubs. And, and there's still a lot of things that we have to do in terms of, of improving our facilities, in terms of our nutrition for the players. The technical bench and the players have shown patriotism to the National League Club, and they do believe that the ambition of gaining promotion to the Kenya Premier League will one day be achieved. Five years to come, we expect to be in the continental competitions. Though this year we, 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 we slept, we, we, we slept a, a bit, but it's like you give birth to a child and then he dies. You don't stop looking for another child. So this year we, we slept a bit, next year we are looking for another chance for the Premier League. I can focus my attention to one of the most talented guys here. He's called John Dirango Softy. Um, I scouted him from very, very far, Dondori part of the forest area. And uh, he's one of our, uh, our most promising players we have uh, right now. And I think uh, together with so many other guys here that I have uh, uh, nurtured and helped develop. Whether Nakuru All Stars Football Club is winning or losing a game, the mood in the dressing room is always very high. But the fun moment is to see the playing unit being kept together. Na kila mtu anafurahia sana. Kila mtu anataka kuwa hapo. Saa leo nyoko hapo hivi kila mtu anakabidi na nakufia team. Eh kwa kisha yani tunaifikisha mali nafaa. Budi yenu inakuanga haja kwenye dressing room mimi kama wachezaji. Eh morali na kwa kwa juu sana. Tunajua tu tutashinda. Na juu unajua tunajiamini. Eh morali nitoka kwa hata kwa Friday morali na kwa kutu juu. Yeah. Fans do not stop from coming to the stadium. They always come to the stadium. They come where we, 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 we practice. They are always telling us, pole, pole, pole. Sorry for what has happened. And the players also don't lose up hopes. They always focus on the next match. Although we play in our lower league, we have a bigger fan base than Ulinzi. Um, uh, one, one of the matches that we played this season was against uh, the, the le leaders of the league, Kakamega Homeboys, who we beat one in Nakuru, and, and the stadium was full. And it was a second division match. It, there was many, many more people than there were when Ulinzi plays its home matches, unless it's playing against Gormahe or AFC Leopards. But it was a, a much bigger fan base than than uh, than, than Tusca Ulinzi, you know. So 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 what we have done is we identify with the people of Nakuru. Why? Because the players who play here are the players who come from the estates. So their neighbors come to watch them. People whose kids are here, they come and watch their children play. They pull they, they pull a neighbor or two. Nakuru All Stars Football Club Management has laid down key structures that will help in the development of talents from the grassroots level. The club has set up its goals in seeing that it achieves its goals of being among the best clubs in the continent. Ah, uh, Mbaka Collins, GBS News.